Alrighty, so we are here at the Ancient Tech Lab, which is where we can find Robbie. We are gonna go see what we can do with... with uh, all of that. I don't remember how much we went through in terms of food. We got a little bit of food that we need to recover. We still have a lot of shock food available to us. What? I went to the wrong lab. I don't know. I don't know if Pura has anything else that we can do at this point, but we can we can check. <laughs> There's nothing more I can do for you unless you want to chat. Well, all right then. All right. So I identified the wrong location in my brain. Where? Which one is the lab that Robbie is in? This one. This one. That's where we need to go. Never sweet. Welcome back, friend. How we doing out there? How have your adventures been while you have been away? I hope you're having a good day out there. What are we doing to start off the day today? How are you getting started today? Are we having breakfast? Are we having coffee? What do we got? So sleepy! That was me this morning, too. I was also strong sleepiness. I gotta work and don't wanna. Yeah. I feel this. I feel this. I've been spending a lot of time working lately, and I need to figure out how I can actually just, like, calm down a little bit <laughs> and uh, have some time to rest, because I am spending so much time doing work. And I need to be conscious of that. Because it's driving me crazy. Take a day off, huh? If only I could. If only I could. There is always stuff to do. You know? I've got I've got so much going on, and especially with the subathon going like this weekend. We've got we've got a lot of stuff that still needs like the final polish on it so that we can have stuff ready to go. There's just there's just a lot of stuff that needs additional attention so that we've got a, a solid setup for it. I gotta figure out something to do about my apartment being way too hot, too. Ooh, I don't remember her having a quest before. Let's go talk to Jaren here. Good day. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Aya, I'm Jaren. Check it out! I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing on a lot of my research on shrines. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Uh, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you'll, you're on the wrong eye. Wasn't that the guy that we needed to talk to before? That uh, was connected to Fang and Bone? I think that's the guy that we were looking for before. Have you got any other questions? Uh, no, I think we've already talked to Jaren about Robbie. There we go. The Skull's Eye. Excellent. All right, let's go talk to Robbie again. I don't think we actually need to talk to Robbie, but I want to check since we're here. Good day, and a good day it is. By the way, did you need something from me? No, I think we're good. 
This is another one of those cosplays. Like, this is not an easy to wear cosplay, but this is definitely a cosplay that I would love to put together because it's so identifiable, I feel like. Also, Robbie, could you stop turning around? I'm trying to see the other side of your backpack. <sighs> oh well. Hello, familiar name missing. Welcome. All right, what do we got here? Do it, need Link cosplay? No, I'm, I wanted to do the Robbie cosplay. <laughs> Not the Link cosplay. Although I could probably figure out a way to do a Link cosplay. Okay, so, wow, we need a lot more ancient parts for this. Ugh. We need a lot more rupees, but we also just need a lot more ancient parts for this, specifically ancient gears. We don't have enough ancient gears to get one piece. I mean, I could probably do a Link cosplay. Depending on which outfit I choose, like... Like this one, for example. I'm pretty sure I have a, a shirt like that already. So it depends. It depends how far I want to go with the with the setup, right? <sighs> okay. What's going to be a, another one? What's going to be another option here? That's going to be a good The champion's tunic is probably going to be a good one to upgrade. That would probably be useful to have in the castle, right? I don't know. Oh, there was somebody we needed to take this uh, ice rod to. <laughs> Rami is cool too, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I could... I wouldn't want to mess with my hair too much. with it so I may it might end up being a brown haired link because I don't have any control over my environment right now uh, I don't have stuff to color my hair properly to do blonde and bleaching my hair is a rough time I have bleached my hair before who did we need to go take the the ice rod, too. Did we already do that one? No, that needed to go back to Hyrule Forest. Oh, and we needed a Lionel hoof. I don't know that I have... We might, we might need to do that today. Thank you for the caffeinate, though. All right, so we've got the... The left eye of Skull Lake for the shrine. Did I find that shrine already? I feel like I may have found that shrine already. I don't remember where Skull Lake is, though. Is it this one? Yes, I did. I also did that shrine already. I had no idea. But we do need to see Kilton, so... Let's set a little marker right there. Squats! Amber Rose has decided it is time for some squats. Do I, do I have the patience? If anybody else would like to add to the squats count, now is a perfect time. Okay, where... Okay, here's Zora Domain. Does anybody remember which... Eek had the... The Lionel on it? 
I cannot remember. Oh my goodness, so many squats all at once. Ah, feel the burn. Yes, I will definitely feel the burn. That is for sure. So we got seven squats on the board right now. If anybody else would like to add to the squats count, now is the time. I am going to look up real quick where that Lionel is. Because I don't remember which landmark it's on. Ploimus Mountain. Ploimus Mountain. Okay. So we're going to go up here. Might honestly be easier to start at Varuta. Some more squats. Ten squats on the board. Alrighty. Good morning, Dreams in Gray. How we doing today? Welcome in, friend. Where on earth is Purple Kara when we need her? She's out there lurking somewhere. Doing the busy work stuff. We will get to those squats in just a few moments here. We are also coming up on our Stream Raiders battle. We are close to the last phase. So if anybody has forgotten to add more units to the Stream Raiders battle, you'll be able to sh uh, for the next few minutes here. All right, we're going to swap that out. Um, I'll equip that. I do not currently have a shield equipped, so we're going to do that. Also, I should probably equip stuff that is not metal. I don't remember if the Lizalbo will attract lightning or not. Settling in to start work. Very nice. Very nice. Always useful to have that. Going on. Whee! It is... It is only 6.30 in the afternoon. Why is it so dark? Very rude. Oh, good. Another whiz robe. I literally do not have the patience for you. Everything, everything is gonna fry! Everything! Where is it? Come here, you. Ow. I don't really have anything that I really want to drop right now. Except maybe this. I am feeling a bit better. Thank you, Dreams. I appreciate that. I am feeling a bit better than I was yesterday. I still didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked, but I am feeling better. Things are good. I'm going to drop this for the time being. I'm going to pick up this so that then I can move it over here and drop it over there. Because I don't remember if I have a picture. 
I do. I'm going to take a better picture, though. Because I can. Mm, yeah, but the green looks good, though. The green looks good. All right, now I gotta empty out the the album again. This is the most annoying part of taking pictures is that I don't have an option to just save the identifying picture. I have to save the full picture first and then go through and like empty them out again. It drives me crazy. Almost time for Dixie's second nap. She got up at 6.30 just to come downstairs and go back to sleep by 7.30. I mean, that makes sense. Which one do I like better? I don't know. They're both good. This one is hilarious because we were trying to take pictures of the dragon and also fighting a Yiga clan member. <laughs> I need to see if there's a way that I can like offload these though. Because so many of these are just nice photos that I want to hang on to. Like, this is the most aesthetic picture of the, the peppers that I could possibly get. Right? It's just good. Get rid of that one, though. That one was a, a quest item. And this one was just cute. Little, little Rito friends singing their song. It was just adorable. Alrighty. That's opened up some space for us. So that's more more useful there. We already have that one, so we can just pick that one back up. Forked Lizal Spear. Ooh, we need a we need a picture of that. I'm still too close. There we go. Look at the little buddies. Which little buddies? These ones? Or the Rito ones? Is these ones? The rainbow bird friends? Alrighty. I think we're good on the photos now. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh, you know what? I put down that Moblin club, but I kind of need it. So I'm going to drop this guy for right now. We're going to pick up the Moblin club. Equip the Moblin club.
Oh, a blackened crab. Excellent. Do we already have a picture of the Traveler's Sword? No. Why would we? Do I just want to make uh, fizz reps of swords and weapons now? Yes. Do I have space for that right now? No. hearing this shimmering ah that's what I'm hearing okay Gorak. Oh, come back. I did find you. Ooh, 18 Gorak seeds now. That's nice. Very nice. And we got some more Fleet Lotus. How to be the most speedy of speed demons. Go to Zora Domain. over to my climbing gear. That is so many silent shrooms. Which, which overhang was that under? This one? Maybe? Ah, uh, no! Man. I think it's this ledge. very sad wasn't it <laughs> it's a very sad exclamation of disappointment and 
And we got we got another dragon over here. I'm wondering if I can get to a position where I can actually overtake it. I kind of doubt that I'm going to be able to, but we can try. We can see. get across the bridge here the stars are so pretty I want to know what this particulate is there's a particulate that, like, travels across the, the upper sky, and it's not... Oh man. <laughs> Did you just see that bomb fall from me? it all just falls down the cliff it's gone now <laughs> the fact that it took me five flipping minutes to figure out that the whippoorwill sound was in the game and not <laughs> in my personal environment Oof. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go over here. And now that it's morning time, I think the dragon is probably gone. I don't know. Do the do the dragons like roost somewhere? As like the ice dragon we found on that mountaintop, right? So like does it go back there during the day? Or does it just disappear? Speaking of which... Do they fly all the time? Or do they they disappear at certain times a day? Because I feel like we never see them during like the the main daylight hours, but it might just be that I've been busy doing other things. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. They have specific schedules? Okay. Alright. Well, this is not our main objective right now, so we're going to continue on. Very nice. Oh, and some more arrows. Solid.
Even dragons need to keep a schedule. Exactly. Exactly. Is getting chilly. That's the peak with our Lionel on it, right? We gotta get it up there. I don't remember if there was an easier way. Maybe, maybe if we go over here to the lakes, it'll be easier for us to get up there. Swim up this waterfall. Level. What is going on, my friend? It is lovely to see you. How the heck are you? I hope you're doing well out there. Anybody does not know our lovely friend Low Level, well worth checking out. All the violence and chaos. Why, though? Why all the violence and chaos? Why must there be violence? Because you're tired? All right. The day is treating me okay. Still lots of work to be done. Much going on. Of course, we're prepping for the 24-hour stream this Saturday. So I've been spending a lot of time over the course of this week. Late into the evening, trying to get things done. So that is all set up. But that also means that I have been losing a little bit of sleep as things have continued. So, you know... I'm doing my best to try to make sure I've got some balance going on, but it's challenging. It is challenging. Oh, it's sunny now. Balance is tough, it's true. It's very true. I do know that I am very grateful to past me for... Are you kidding with this rain right now? It was sunny for 0.5 seconds. 
Bruh. Okay. It, I did remember that this, uh... This Lionel has... Shock arrows, though. So we're gonna equip the rubber suit. In hopes that that helps. Because I was going to try and sneak up on him, but I'm not sure that that's uh, going to be worth it at this point. I do have a mighty elixir, though. Apollo talked me into getting Breath of the Wild, and I still haven't played it. Funny thing is I have about a thousand vids of me in Breath of the Wild hoodie. How are you enjoying the game? I'm enjoying the game quite a lot. Um, it, like, fulfills all of those open-world adventure game requirements that I, I really love. I absolutely adore games like this that I can just wander around and find environmental encounters and all of that good stuff that comes with it so this this critter makes some wild noises um but yeah it's it's been a lot of fun to take this opportunity to get into the legend of zelda franchise because I've basically played zero Legend of Zelda games. Um, are we just going to eat random food at this point? Maybe. Maybe, maybe we want to be fancy. That'll be helpful. Okay. Now with the electricity. Great. Come here, you. Oh, we got a spear. Be super delighted if this inspired you to play more Legend of Zelda. It's possible. My my biggest issue overall when it comes to games is that I just never have enough time to play all of the things that I want to play. You know, there's so much out there. There's so much good stuff. And I, I never have enough time to play things as much as I want to play them. Play them to the level of exploration that I want to play them. Ow. See, <laughs> I feel like at this point I'm just... I, I accept that I am going to soak a lot of damage in this game. We'll also be delighted to be with Journey regardless. Aw. Thank you. I appreciate you. That went surprisingly well. Alright, we have 
a Lionel horn. Lionel, this horn once grew upon, surely misses it. It's exceptionally hard, so hard that most blades can't scratch it. Throw it into a stew with critters to make elixirs. Very well. We also now have a Lionel hoof. This rare ingredient can be obtained only from a Lionel's foot. It's larger and heavier than a horse's hoof, and it's useful for making elixirs, but may have uses beyond that. Excellent. I got some shock arrows over here, and then we have a whole set of Lionel equipment that we have not yet seen before. Ocarina of Time! Ocarina of Time, I at least, like, remember moments of that because my cousins played it, but I know almost nothing about it. Beyond that. These would be fun to make fizz reps of, too. And I have space for the sword. Perfect. Lionel sword. This Lionel made sword is designed with smashing in mind rather than slicing. It's on the heavy side compared to what Hylians are used to, but it's very strong. Lionel bow. A Lionel made bow crafted from rough metal. True to the vicious nature of Lionel weaponry, it fires a spread of multiple arrows at once. Ideal for taking down quick moving targets. Lionel's Shield, a sturdy shield favored by Lionel's for its defense and offensive prop capabilities. First and foremost, a shield, but the bladed edges make it can deal slashing attacks when deflecting. Fancy. All right, so we have the Lionel hoof. We have the other thing, brain. Oh, that was a very strong boar. All right. The ice staff, we have the Lionel hoof. Trying to remember what all else we needed to take back to Korok Forest. Were those the only two adventures that we had in Korok Forest that we needed? Where are all of my lightning arrows? Aren't there supposed to be shock arrows up here? Remember there being shock arrows like in the trees. Do they not respawn? Feel like Journey would have fun with Majora's Mask. I would love to have a look at them. I I don't know if I want to like play the first one and like play forward from there, or if I would want to like play them backwards from the most recent back. Because I don't know, I don't know how my patience is for the the older games at this point. I think they're specific to the quest and don't respond. I remember going back up here at one point and I was able to farm the stuff a second time, but maybe maybe they despawn when the Lionel isn't there. In in terms of release date, well um in terms of release date. It's so loud.
Returning to lurk after this because of fried brain and busy. Don Mystery, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I appreciate that lurk. Appreciate the support. And I appreciate you being here. In whatever capacity you are able. Okay, what do I want to do now? Um... All right, so we got the, the Lionel Hoof. We can delete this bin. We can delete this bin. Okay, so the next thing I was going to go do was go talk to this guy in Skull Lake. So we're gonna go over here to this shrine. Shock arrows don't respawn from what I would call that or they respawn very rarely. Ah, I see. Okay. Have I seen the Ocarina of Time TikTok that Lizzo with the Lizzo flute audio? Probably, well, possibly, but not that I recall. Not that I recall. So we have... We have somebody to go see down here. Or I thought we would. You sent it on TikTok? Thank you, low level. If you would like to set it in the, the Clock Talk channel, you're welcome to do that as well. I didn't even talk to the guy. I knew he was over here. Demonic gal, hello. How we doing out there? Welcome back into Mountain Shade Village, friend. It was lovely to see you. Well, I don't know where Kilton is now then. Because I still haven't talked to him. But he was supposed to be over here. Now where am I supposed to find him? And see what's going to go next. I was going to check my adventures. We we're going to check our quest list. And see, because I remember having a side quest. Yes, Fang and Bone. Near East Akala Stable. Which means, where's East Akala Stable? Which means it seems likely that it's going to be somewhere in the Akala Highlands or something, right? Because I remember seeing a road sign and we needed to go over to the Akala Valley area anyway because we need to unlock that final great fairy spot as well. So... Let's see what we got here. But yes, Wild, thank you for the tips uh, for having the, the wetted cloth. 
Um, you can actually get even better results um, by using rubbing alcohol to dampen claws like that as well, as long as you make sure that you're not overcooling it because alcohol has a lower freezing point um, than regular water. But it's a great way to create like super cool packs when you're dealing with extreme heat. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. I wanna see if there's anything else around here. Like maybe a wood cutting axe. That would be convenient. Ooh, hardy radish. I'll take that, thank you. That's how I survive in summer in fast food kitchen with no AC. Never again! Yeah. Ugh. That was a rough time. A very rough time. Colorful leaves gently falling. A fort that fell to the great calamity. Unspeakable sorrow surrounds this landscape. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Yeah, water and rubbing alcohol in a zipper bag. Exactly. I like putting a, a sponge in them, because um, I feel like it allows for them to have a little bit more uh, formability to them. Have you found him once already, out of curiosity? Yes, I was able to take a picture, because I was like, this looks like something we need to come back to. And I didn't talk to him, I didn't engage with him, but apparently that was enough to get him to move. So, because we were just standing there in the left eye of Skull Lake, so. He was no longer there. So now we gotta go find the fang and bone. Hmm, I know I've seen that spring in that goddess statue before. There's a place like this at the ruins of North Akala Valley, to the west of here. Ah. It's pretty much directly west of here. I'm certain you'll be able to find it without any trouble. Alrighty. Ah, I bet that's this little star marker here that I was like, this looks like something important. I bet that's what it is. It was not nighttime. I would say it was too bright for it to have been nighttime. I could have sworn that that was the. Oh, wait, is it here? Maybe it's there. Steffi, hello! Oh, he only shows up at night. Okay, well, we'll go back at nighttime then. All right. How we doing, Steffi? It's lovely to see you. Whoa. Unequip all of this stuff then. Sheesh. Why did it just strike? Ups and downs. Got more energy drinks again, so I'll be good for the next few weeks. Very nice. I... Here we go. That's that's what, what I wanted. The whole thing that I wanted right now was to fell a bunch of these trees, so... I just gotta monitor the area to make sure that things don't burn. 
too badly. Have really bad sleep and energy drinks help keep you awake during the day? I would say that that's probably why most, most people drink energy drinks, honestly. But I will also say that monitoring energy drink intake can be really important. Um, especially when I'm trying to really focus on my health. Yes, please drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. Which is hilarious because a bunch of us grew up hearing that phrase in regards to specifically alcohol, but it, uh, it applies to so many things. Is this, is this just fire? Okay. I will accept just plain fire. Drink one with breakfast and that's all you get for the day? That's, that is a good way to go about that, I would say. There is a deer over there, and I am concerned for its well-being, but also I wonder if it will become roast meat if it gets struck by lightning. My curiosity is strong. Acorn. Collect acorn first. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. For half a second there, I thought that the stable was on fire, and I was like, how did that happen? Why is the stable on fire? It's not. It's just the lighting. It's fine. Is that zap shrooms? It is zap shrooms. And a high tail lizard. I will take that lizard. Thank you. Oh yeah, if it's interacting with your meds, that's a definitely a thing that you want to be aware of, to be sure. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms over here. Heck! This is a very helpful area. Who wants to fight me right now? Who? Who wants to fight me right now? In this heckin' lightning storm. Get out of here. Come here. Ooh, gourmet meat. Thank you all. Come here. Come over here by the tree. And prime meat. You had your last one three days ago? Yeah. Like, I probably have one, one, maybe two caffeinated beverages over the course of the day these days because I will occasionally have an additional cup of coffee or something in the afternoon. But I still remember the days that I was drinking uh, four or five of them just to get through the day. It was not a great time. Both both for my liver and my stomach and my mental health. <laughs> Do not recommend. Zero out of ten. Oh, there's one that fell way down here. I need to remember to go over there and get it. Do -do -do -do. Having to put out the stable fire would be fun. I don't know. I don't know how we would do that. 
Oh, hi, Purple Kara. Welcome back from your lurk. How we doing today? I hope you're having a good one. All right. Flex those abs. Always be saving. Do, 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 do. Yes, it is one of those days. I understand. I understand. All right, where were we going here? Thank you for the money time. We will add that to one of our next upcoming stretch breaks. And of course, of course, it's time for squats. We just got done with them. Just, just got done with them. All right, we're going to go, we're going to go on a trail ride here and see what we can find. Yeah, we did 10 squats this morning. Who should we take out? Which of our horses should we take out today? It is up to you guys. Spot, caramel, mocha, latte, or nutmeg. We got one vote for nutmeg. Not nutmeg. We just got that one. All right, so one vote for nutmeg, one vote for not nutmeg. Anybody else? A single color horse? Hmm. I think Latte is our only single color horse, Demonic Gal. Spot is one of the teal horses. Alrighty. Y'all said it is time to take a Latte out. So we shall. Lurk! Thank you for the lurk, Purple Gara. <laughs> and Purple Kara, thank you so much for those 10 squats. Thank you for being here and earning those embers. I appreciate you. I need to add that money time that you added to my list so I don't forget. There we go. I would love some coffee too. And it's after 10. It is possible. It is possible for some coffee. So here's Latte with the royal barding on it, looking super cool. However, we did say we were going to try going to check out Skull Lake in the evening time. So let's go back to the Zukai, Zunakai Shrine. Ooh, with the angie eyebrows. Steffi, are you finding it challenging to reintroduce yourself to people? Or are they being, like, difficult about it? Or is it just that you want to, like, cut them out of your life? Because I, I would imagine that the meeting people is not the problem. Ah, so we were not there at the right time of day. He is still here. We just needed to not be there at the same time. You don't want to meet anybody from your old town? Not anybody? I mean, how far are you away from your old town? Can I say one thing about the horses without being scolded? Is it a spoiler? Does it spoil story stuff for me? Yeah, Steffi, I feel like that's going to be the case. Like, you're you're going to continue to run into people from your old town as long as you are close enough that either you are traveling there or people are going to travel to where you are on a regular basis. So, you have you have two options there, and one of them is figure out how that interaction is going to be made easier for you. Like, whatever it is that you can do to, like, mentally prepare for that situation. 
or move farther away. <laughs> Those are your options. Um, so if moving farther away is not feasible for you in this moment, what are some things that are going to be useful for you to mentally prepare in order to see these people and interact with these people um, in a public setting? Or, like, not approach them at all. You know? I'm going to go talk to him, Demonic Gal. And yes, as long as it's not spoilery, you can, you can share information about the horses. That's fine. Is it that time already? I need to get this show on the road. May we meet again on another monstrous night. What? Was it? Was that it? I mean, it is 4:45 in the morning, but that's that's the only interaction I got. It was just I must escape. If someone in my old town figures out where I was, I would be... It would become a problem. Okay. So, if you, if you need to be covert, like... I want more... One more empty slot for the future? That makes sense. Uh, with what I know about Zelda. Um... But I can also replace one of the ones that I have. As far as I can tell, I can't just release one of the ones that I have in the stable. I have to replace it with another horse. You are thankfully an adult. This is true. But that's the thing. Like, you, you can't do a whole lot to control where other people are. You can only control where you are and what you do and all of that kind of stuff. So if that's a concern for you, you are going to need to figure out what are things that you can do to control your actions and your accessibility and things like that. You know, I, I always want people to act in favor of their safety, right? But, again, you cannot control the actions of others. You can only control the actions of yourself. And I know that you have a lot going on in your life that you have to consider in terms of the impact of things on your life. But, as, as a broad view, the only things that you control are yourself. Yeah. But you have to you have to take your safety into account regardless because you know that that's out there, Steffi. And like I can't give you individualized advice for that. That's not something that I have experience with. That's not something that I can advise on. But the only thing that I can say is the only thing you can control is what you do. Because you can't control what other people do. So you have to have a game plan for yourself and your interactions with these people who might recognize you and what can happen in the event that that information is shared, you know? I remember seeing one of these road signs that had fang and bone on it, and I don't remember which road it was on. But it's not about the current, it's about having a plan for what happens next, if that makes sense, right? The only way, in my experience, 
the only way to dispel those kinds of future fears, those anxieties, is to have a plan of eventuality. What am I going to do when inevitably this thing that I fear will come to pass comes to pass? Because for a lot of this, what you are describing is not stuff that you can control. You know, if this person recognizes you and then goes back and communicates that information to somebody you don't want to have it, what is your response in that moment going to be? And I don't need that answer. That answer is not for me, right? That's, that is something that you have to consider and work out for yourself. Um, and it's solely for you, right? It is for you to have a plan in case there is a need for that action. But it's not for me, you know? So if you have a plan, either that plan is enough and it should allow you to assuage your worries because you have a plan of action and that's going to take care of it as best you can take care of it. Or you continue to work on the plan and make sure that it is fully fledged out so that you... Uh, you are confident in your ability to deal with that situation when it inevitably happens, right? Um, when it comes to things like being concerned about the presence of someone else in your life, like, like you said, you are a legal adult at this point, so are there, are there legal actions that you can take to help ensure your safety? You know, are there people that you can have together as a network to help support you in that moment, right? Like all of that kind of stuff. Know that you are not alone. This is one of the big things that I... <laughs> I feel like the older I get, the more I have to remind myself of this, but the easier that solution has become. Um, that I am not alone in a lot of the things that I struggle with. And... There are people who are willing and capable to assist me in the more difficult things in my life now. So bear those things in mind, you know? And when you have those moments of fear, because the moments of fear are not going to just go away um, once you have that plan, right? It's an anxiety. It's something that you're worried about happening. But when those moments come up, Remind yourself that you have that plan in place and you have, you have a, a plan of action to help deal with that anxiety. Who's talking to me over here? Hello? Come here, rude. Rude boy. Hi, Chubby. Ooh, there's one of those bunny shields that I hadn't seen yet. That's super cute. Well, you sure made that simpler than I would have would have been otherwise. I should do something to thank you, I suppose. Yay! We got some more monster extract. A result of Kilton's research into monsters. The suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Aww. I'm so embarrassed you had to rescue me again. Huh. Anyway, I haven't gotten up the, cur the search for that Kilton guy and his fang and bone, but I haven't gotten anywhere yet either. One source I trust says he's most often found in the skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. Chubby, I can help you find it. I know where it is. I've been there. That's so aesthetic. Look at that. No, oh, that's a way better picture. You have a network, though? No worries. I'm not planning on staying in this part of the Netherlands. See? That's good. So you've got a plan to get to somewhere that's going to feel safer for you. And you have a network of people who can assist you now. So in those moments where you have, you have those concerns, remember that you have a, a plan of attack 
basically you have an approach and a response that you uh, can have handy in those tougher moments. So always, always remind yourself that you have that space um, to help deal with those concerns, you know. Because that, that fear, as long as you are dealing with that issue, right? As long as that issue is kind of present in your life and you're not able to fully dismiss that concern, that concern is going to come back up. So remember in those moments how to extricate yourself from that fear so that you can move on and deal with the situation at hand as opposed to being afraid of the situation at hand, right? Because that's definitely one of the things that it took me a very long time to wrap my head around, and it is probably one of the biggest, biggest tools that I have had to help me get through some of the much tougher elements of my my life lately because things have gotten really challenging especially with uh, all of the changes that have happened over the course of the pandemic and everything in regards to legal actions I strongly suggest seeing if you can get a consultation with someone Again, like, I I cannot give advice on that. It is going to be very much individualized to your particular situation and everything involved with that. Um, but there are, at least here in the U.S., I don't know about the Netherlands, but at least here in the U.S., there are actually a lot of people out there um, who do free consultations to kind of be able to talk with um, a legal advisor and at least get a start of an idea of what might be involved if you were to take legal actions in any situation um, but be able to to give a legal advisor your specifics and discern what's going to be the best course of action for you right because it is going to be on a very individual basis Oh, right. I was going to climb up here and see if I could find this shrine that's bleeping at me. Got another sign over here, too. The South Acolis table. Very nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We love the bleeping. It's very bleep. Is, is very bleep. So this is probably the shrine that's tied to the, the South Akala Shrine. Or the South Akala Stable. Whee! Twice now? Twice now what? Also, hello, nerd boy. We were not expecting to see you in chat today. Twice now, I have told the front office, hey, call me first thing on Wednesday if you need a sub, and they have not called you. Wow. I am surprised. Alrighty. So, uh, I wanted to check this sign that's down here. Do -do -do. Probably. It is probably going to be a song and dance that you do with them every week. It's, uh, it seems about right, if you ask me. It seems kind of silly to me that there's, like, nowhere for me to park my horse at a stable. I can either board it, 
or I have an out, but there's nowhere for me to park it so that it's like safe. How's it been going here? Pretty well. It's been going pretty well so far. It is probably about time for me to take a stretch break, actually. It is probably about that time. Ooh, is that a quiche or a cake? It's difficult to tell. By the ingredients, it looks like cake. It has egg, butter, sugar cane, and wheat. But the picture makes it look like a quiche. That's kind of funny. Alrighty, so it is stretch break time. That last hour went so fast. I have a question for you. What are we going to do next? So next up, stable shrine. Or find... Kilton. Because we've been finding Kilton. But it's up to you guys. So let me know in the chat. Ten minutes on that poll. Alrighty. You guys voted over the break. Said it was time for the shrine. So we are going to go check out the shrine. I am going to get zapped by lightning. Please hold. Good grief. We gotta check this sign here. I wanted to check this sign before we went inside. I think I'd rather go to the unstable shrine. Listen. Listen, you. Ooh, the spring of power is this way. So somewhere along here is gonna be the spring of power, which, shocking, I know. So at some point, we're going to have to go that direction. We're going to do green for that. Hello. My goodness. The lightning. The furious lightning. It is not shocking because of the lightning, Purple Kara. You take yourself to the pungent right now. To the pungent with you. How dare you. Thank you. Thank you for being a responsible adult with your punning. How very dare you. Gotta be a responsible adult at some point in your life, yes. I, I hear that that's the thing that we gotta do. Says the journey playing word games in Don's chat this morning. This is true. But for anybody who hangs out with our Discord streams, you guys know that I I will dish the puns just as much as you guys do. So there are just consequences in the stream. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Zay Kasho. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The Zay Kasho apparatus. Purple Kara, remember how you said you wanted the unstable shrine? I'm going to say we found it. Um, but yes, there are consequences when I pun in this, uh, in this stream. Because you all will send me to the pungent just as quickly as I will send you to the pungent. they slide around. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. There we go. That is sufficient, I feel. I say as I run into the spikes. Ooh, now we got some lasers. All right. I'm not supposed to run into the spikes? What? Who would have guessed? Who 
would have guessed. <laughs> this is not how this is supposed to work. I'm supposed to figure out the sequence of times that I am supposed to hit that trigger to get these to all turn off in the right order. But did you know that you can use stasis on the lasers? Did you know? Because you can. A little bit of ingenuity and patience. Now my question is, how do I get over there? That I don't know. Unless I can, like, blow myself up in the right direction. To get up onto that ledge. Because it's not a metal chest, so I can't just pull it down. By flipping the switch I was avoiding. How dare you. How very dare. Fine. I'll go back, I guess. Can I can I crouch under the lasers? No. Alas. Welcome back, Steffi. Fine. I'll go back and do it properly. Don't go back. Why not? Why not? I want to get to the thing. I want to get to the chest. Why not? No, oh, all right. I don't have a bow equipped though. <laughs> nah. Oh, well, we still haven't done Sandboy's Boots quest yet, either. No, nope. shoot. <sighs> I do have cheese.
Yeah, oh, no. Go back, she said. Shoot it from the end of the platform, she said. for the clip. Oh, uh, goodness. We actually, we actually got one of the Zora guard spears. That's pretty excellent. I dig that. It was perfect. I had to. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Listen. I don't appreciate this. Stop it. Now I gotta go back over here and get my arrows. Stop running into the lasers. Listen, I'm trying, okay? This takes so long to reset. Also, I don't know why, but I can't seem to change the the Dixper chat responses. I'm a little frustrated with it, honestly. Because there's a whole interface to be able to change them, but when I do, it never seems to show up. So many arrows. There was only two. I could only recover two arrows. Excuse me. Unacceptable. Can I trigger this with the. Ah! Thank you for the dicks per card. That was terrifying. All right. I want I want a Legend of Zelda gyroscope desk toy now. Oh jeez. This does not look like it's going to be a fun time. Uh, okay, that one is in the cradle. Why is it not triggering that? There we go. Purple Kara, thank you for the Earthquake card. As I am concentrating very hard. Doing a help, yes. Doing a help. 
Okay, so my goal here is that if I get all of the orbs at least lined up with where they are supposed to be, then maybe I can just turn it down again. And they'll just fall into place. Right? That's the idea. The difficulty with this idea is that I still have one orb that's a little off to the side. So we're going to knock that one back into place here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Come on. Get, get where you go. There we go. Thank you for the fog. See? It helped! <laughs> yes. It helped. You gave me a jar of dirt. Does it help? If you don't want it, give it back. No. Then it helps. Oh, hey, I have five spirit orbs now. Nice. You love Tia Dalma so much? Seriously, though. And, and like, the reveal of Tia Dalma, it was, it was done so poorly. It could have been so much better. You think there's Guardian stuff up there? You think we can get some gears up there? In the Citadel ruins? It seems likely. I do want to go to the spring, though. So we're going to go to the spring first. We're going to continue following this road towards the spring. All right. I didn't need my heart in my chest. It's fine. Thank you, Purple Kara. There's a place to farm guardians, but it is not a fun time. It is panic. I don't think I don't think we're there for that today. This is kind of more of a chill, chill sort of vibe today, I think. Or at least as best we can. We can delete this stamp now. We still have not gone back to the Korok Forest yet, and we need to. So that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Because we've got two quests to return there. Ooh, I should hunt boars on horseback more often. That's actually useful. All right. We're keeping an eye out for more signs. More trail markers. <laughs> Gotta lurk again soon. I'm just here to cause chaos. Imagine. Imagine. Yes, we are we are all very surprised by this turn of events. All 
All right, looks like we got a little moblin territory, goblin, bokoblin territory. Oh my goodness. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. All right. I was hoping we would see a little bit more in the way of trail markers here. that shrine done? I think that shrine is done. Do, 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 do. Huh. Is there going to be an easy way for me to get back up here. It doesn't look like it. I just saw the guardian over there. The flying guardian. Not excited for that. Oh hey, there's a bunch of horses over here. Thank you for the loading screen. We'll just take a little breather, it's fine. I thought it would help you hide from the guardians. Uh-huh. All right, we are gonna save. What was that? Oh, it was the, the deer. That's over here. We we spooked the little the deer in this area. It occurs to me we do not have a picture of our white horse. We should do that. So cute. All right. It did! It did mug for the cameras. Super cute. Hmm. That did not go as well as I had hoped. That's not a great photo of that. There we go. Now the whole thing will fit in the frame. Come on! The slowest electric bolts. Are you kidding me? It scram! It did scram. This is true. <laughs> I'm not sure that it's worth it. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. What is this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I finally hit it. Finally. Yeah, they, I know that they are very, very high powered. There will be the murder death. <laughs> Help, I'm gonna die. Oh, an amaranth. <laughs> exactly. Did you not know that <laughs> this was the stream you were watching? I did find a Korok puzzle, though. I love that the, the one Angie one is just this... I don't know if you can see it on the, the big map. You can see it on the big map. See the one Angie guardian? It's a little, little blinking dot here. And it cracks me up. I did. I woke him up. It's true. I woke him up. I made a mangy. Actually, at this point, it might be easier to... Oh, see? If I had waited. If I had waited. Or if I hadn't waited, rather. If I had kept him... Kept him angy. And he might have been staying, staying there in that same place. My horse is so far away now. I went down here because I thought it was closer to the thing that I needed, but it was not. I don't know what the purpose of that area is, though. Like, is there anything down there that's unique to that area? Like, I feel like I'm not seeing anything special in that area. Unless it's the passageway. Is it the passageway? Oh, it's the passageway! Okay. Alright. I'm just on the wrong side of the quarry. Okay. That makes better sense. Priorities. Yes, thank you. I just went the wrong way. That's all. No! Run! Run, elf boy! I need a slashy slash. It is almost stream readers time. We will get to that in just a moment. Hey, we got a memory. Awesome. But no. This is an unacceptable option. 
The horse had to be out in the rain or boarded with the stable. It couldn't just exist outside and be covered from the elements. I was very disappointed. So yes, I can put my I can put my uh my horse anywhere. But can I protect it from the elements anywhere? Because it seems the answer is no. Can I not? Are those not sconces? Can I not light them with a fire? Rude. Bad environment design, in my opinion. Some aesthetic waterfalls that I can do nothing with. Maybe the horse does like the rain. It's true. Could be could be a rain style horse. We never know. A good point. Fernando, have you been playing uh, Breath of the Wild a lot? This is my first playthrough, so I'm always interested to see if folks are are very invested in Breath of the Wild and all of that good stuff. Alrighty. It is cutscene time. I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. The mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? <gasps> Oof. It's interesting to see the story not just in what is revealed but like that moment that moment of knowing that there are great expectations resting on your shoulders and feeling like there's not a way to step forward and make progress in that goal it's nice to see it depicted and discussed because that is something that I think most people will live with at some point in their lives. And it takes a lot to... Rivali's gale is now ready. Thanks, Rivali. Of course you're the one to, like, interrupt my thoughts here. Um, it takes a lot to overcome those moments and to... sort of relinquish the outcome to what you're capable of doing in any given moment. So, it's kind of nice that they touched on it. Fernando says, I've played a lot. Got stuck in my room for a week or two, so I played it for a hundred-something hours. I knew the game was good, but I didn't know that it was that packed with content. Didn't even touch the DLC, either. Yes, so I only, I only recently um, got a Nintendo console at all. 
thanks to crowdfunding from my lovely community. Um, so I'm getting the chance to, to play Breath of the Wild for the very first time and uh, Animal Crossing as well. We love Animal Crossing here in Mountain Shade Village. And um, it's proving to be really interesting. And I like Breath of the Wild in the same way that I have really enjoyed... Um, like Witcher and Skyrim and other similar games. Hello, Notorious Gene. Welcome in. How are we doing this morning? Um, so it's been really interesting to, to kind of see the similarities of Zelda as an open world game that we get here. So it's been really fascinating to, to play through it because I'm, I'm used to thinking of Zelda as the top-down... Um, pixel game, not an open world game like this one. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Dinral's scale, received from the Red Spirit, to the spring of power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. All right. We've done, we've done one of these. We did the one in the mountain. Doing okay? Trying really hard to not add another TTRPG to my weekly schedule? Yeah? What are we looking about at adding? Is it another D&D &D session? Is it um, something else entirely? What are we looking at? Who or what is Dinral? We know. We know what Dinral is. I'm curious if there is a Korok up here. It's like I knew. Ooh, using the fantasy flight system. Very nice. Welcome in, psychotic deer. How are we doing today? Welcome back into Mountain Shade Village. All right. Um... I don't remember where we last saw Finral. Probably in some ca uh, canyon somewhere. I expect it to be somewhere near the fiery area, but who knows. Mint chocolate drink. Very nice. Hopefully you're enjoying it. It is 7.25 p.m. <whistles> well, also impressed with dancing skills and full body VR. Natural talent, yes. Always a good time. All right, I don't know. Hello, Latte.
I don't know where to go looking for this dragon. Now oh, that's Dinro. Is that the one we need? That's the one we need, right? Thank you. The the horse that we have out right now is the royal horse with the the royal bearding. So, it's very nice. Yes, Dinro. Okay. No, you stay over there. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you guys either. Go away. I don't want to deal with you. My difficulty is that I don't remember the path of this dragon. Chibi voice. Okay, we'll do some chibi voice. I'll do some chibi voice while we run away from these stupid... Or goblins. I see you over there. I don't want to play with you. Stop it. Go away. I also don't know what the. So we don't know what the schedule is, and I don't know what the flight path is. Listen, listen. I don't appreciate you. Being a jerk, okay? A new follower. Jeez. Fernando, welcome to Mountainside Village. It is lovely to have you here. If you would like to introduce yourself, let us know what slice of the globe you happen to be from. And it's always lovely to meet new villagers here in Mountainside Village. So welcome in. Let's see, let's see some inclusiveness here in the chat. There it is. Jean got it started. Let's do some inclusiveness in chat. You are part of the village. Welcome in. Fernando. But if you would like to introduce yourself, let us know what slice of the globe you happen to be on. We have community members from all over the globe. And it's always lovely to meet new folks who have decided to make their home here in Mountain Shed Village. Where'd the other one go? Where the other one go? Thank you so much for that follow, friend. You are now part of the village. <laughs> I did not appreciate them, it's true. Nerd boy, I hope you enjoyed your Chibi voice redemption, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I do not need the heckin' any of this, really. The Between the fire keys. For the cute voice. Is that why we're here? We are aggressive and cute. It is why you are here. We do, we do character voice now. We do character voice and chibi voice. I really need to be able to put those on the same queue. It would be better if they were on the same queue. Where is this dragon? Psychotic Gear is here for the hats off redeem. We will grab a hat in just a moment. And then go over to the stable here. Spoil what fun? What? What? What the fun are we spoiling? I am so con- I am very confused. Oh, you mean- you mean in my- my putting them on the same queue. I- I do mean by putting them on the same queue because there, there is a cooldown on both of them uh, to save my voice. 
And I do need... I do need to... Be mindful of my voice health. So, having both the chibi voice and the character voice on the same queue means I have paused my voice timer. And now it is just going... Forever. Oh, you want the, the weapon. The weapon is fine. There we go. Balls. Lurking for laundry. Good luck with your chores, psychotic deer. I hope you enjoy. Rice, meat, salt. Okay, that's that we've already figured out. Maybe we get to sleep here. Maybe that will help. I do not know. We may have to move to a different region. And now we can get back to Breath of the Wild. All right, where were we going next? Anybody remember? Oh, we were trying to find, we were trying to find what's his name? The, the dragon that we were looking for. So, let's have a look here. Let's find the entry for Dinral. A spirit of fire has taken the form of this giant dragon, making its home in the Elden region. It's said to have served the spring of power since ancient times. An old saying goes, the dragon ascends to the heavens as the sun begins to set, but nobody has witnessed this in a current age. The flames that coat its body make it dangerous to go near, but Dinral bears no ill will toward people. Noticeable in the Elden Mountains and the Tabantha Frontier. Okay, so we are in the wrong region to be able to find this dragon, so that at least will give us a place to start. Also, Psychotic Tear... I know you're out there lurking, doing some stuff, but hats off to you, my friend. Thank you so much for the redemption. I hope you enjoyed your reward today. Thank you for being here, being part of the community, all that good stuff. All right, so Elden Mountains and Tabantha Frontier. So we need to be in the Elden Mountains... Or the Tabantha Frontier. So maybe if we go somewhere over here, we will find it. So that is going to be our next main location that we need to go. Thank you for that hydrate, Notorious Chain. As well as a caffeinate. Are we going for the trifecta? Take a bite should be unpaused. I don't remember now. Yeah, it is. Very good. All right. There it is. All right, let's see if the noodles are cool enough that I can eat them. Not the best noodles I've made, but they are food. Alright, so for now, let's start with the Korok Forest here, because we've got two quests to take back to the Korok Forest. I just couldn't find the last one. Fair. Very fair. Do, do, do. Okay, so now I need to go into 
Oh, a tree branch. I don't need to pick up a tree branch or a cork leaf. Thank you, though. Okay, so adventure log, side quests. Riddles, freezing rod. Bula is over here. Oh, looks like you've located an ice rod. But you're going to have to equip it to impress me. Yeah. Shimmering, sparkling, what a sight to behold. Thank you, Mr. Hero. Your weapon is so amazingly, wonderfully sparkly. I must give you something as thanks. Ooh, rupees. Very nice. Clink, sparkle! Thanks, Kula. All right. I believe our other side quest is at the top of the tree. In that case, zoom! All right. If I have to actually climb, we're going to put on the climbing gear. Do, do, do. Oh, I totally spaced. We were going to go unlock the other great fairy. That was the reason we were in the uh, Akala region. Shoot. Do, do, do. <laughs> the tree, jeez. Ooh, there's a fairy. Need some more of those, too. Come on. Down. Ooh, there's two! Yes, please. Will it actually get close enough to the ground that I'll be able to catch it, though? That's the real question. I don't know that it will. Alright, we're pretty sure that he wants a hoof, so we are going to hold this, sort our inventory real quick. Final hoof. That's it, that's it! You got it! I knew you could do it, Mr. Hero. Here's your reward. Ooh, another diamond. That'll be helpful. I'm fresh out of riddles. You've outwitted me. Very impressive. Thank you. I try. I do my best. Let's see if we can get this rush room, though. I wonder if it's possible for us to walk out on this branch, maybe. You think we might be able to walk down on this branch? Nope. If we can, I am not agile enough to do it. But we did get the second fairy in the long run. So there's that. All right. There's our two remaining Koric Forest items. We now need to go off into the Elden Mountains. I 
I don't remember if we've gone over into that other forested area yet. Might be fun to go over there and see uh, what's over there. This was poorly, poorly thought out. I was hoping that I would be able to... I was hoping I would be able to move out of the forest in this way, but it's just going to reset me back to the gate, isn't it? I forgot. I forgot. So, in that case, let's just travel to the tower instead. Oh, right. This is the tower that has the the half-broken skull over it. Demonic gal, welcome back! How are we doing today? How was your time away? How was the lurks? Hopefully it was a good time. Oh, I'm out of Rivali's gale. Well, shoot. Fine. Was not the news that I wanted to hear, but all right. Okay, so the goal here is I want to stay up on this ridge here, so away from the Lost Forest itself. If at all possible. I left my horse somewhere. Extreme! Demonic gal! Hopefully you're doing some things to take care of yourself while you're uh, coping with that situation. Never a good time. Thankfully for myself, it has been a long time since I've had to deal with extreme pain. But I definitely remember it. Not a great time. This almost seems like it should be a road, even though it's not. Muscle relaxers can be very helpful. Hopefully that does what you need it to. Ever have enough of these dark lizards that help with the fire resistance? Gimme. The fireproof lizards always run away. I always miss them until the very moment that they start to run away. All right, let's... Continue up this way a little bit. We're gonna head for we're gonna head for this ridge right here. Huck. 
But I see watchtowers over here, which leads me to believe we might have some stuff we can pick up. So why not, while we're here... Get some treasure. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Nope. There we go. That hit him, but it didn't, like, knock him over. I kind of expected it to knock him over. I'm a little disappointed, I'll be honest. All right, let's get up. It is time. And just because we haven't had this available to us before, let's also... Book the champion's tunic. Where's my other watchtower guy? Oh, way up there! I didn't even see him! The one time I want bread or crackers and I can't find any. Ow! 720 on that silver bow goblin. That is a surprising amount of health. No wonder they're so tough, though. Ow. We're gonna take this guy out with the heckin'. Swinging the spear all around like crazy. Excuse me. Sword. Very nice. Ooh, and some fire arrows too. Very nice. Love that for me. Come here. Shoot some more arrows at me. I need more arrows. Welcome back from your lurk, Tipsy Tiger. How are we doing so far today? I hope you're having a good one out there. Who who are you blowing that arrow f that the uh, that horn for, sir? Who exactly? Do you think you're going to notify of my presence? Hmm. Hmm. I want a sword for today? No reason. Don't worry about it. I mean, you know, everybody's got their reasons, right? Another arrow over here. Women with swords, always a yes from you. I agree. I agree. Excellent. Oh, hey. Little, little fire barrel here. Even that would have been useful. Hi. Move your butt. Goodbye. How the turntables.
I love how the little lookout up top, though, has no idea that we're coming. Just chilling up here. Just chilling. No clue. Not a thought behind those eyes. I did that to myself. I should have expected that. I did not. And I should have expected that. Did the Bokoblin parts just careen down the hill? A little bit. Save! I have new knowledge of stream elements. Yes. Expect more tables. I see. Yes, thank you for the Patreon boost. You may have noticed on the break screen, we actually have a new patron who just joined our ranks. Very excited about that. Very thankful for the support. It is, it is one of several, Notorious Gene. Many of my commands have uh, alternate commands or alternate command aliases that you can use to activate them. So it is by no means the only one, but it is one of several for that particular command. I think only browse also works for that. Mixing cream cheese is hard. It helps when it's soft. It, it helps if you allow it to come up to room temperature first. That is my suggestion. Is allow it to come up to room temperature. And then it will be much easier. Yeah, it heat it in some way, and then you'll be in a good place for it. But usually, if I'm mixing cream cheese into something, I am mixing something that I want to experience cold and not hot. So, I will usually let it come up to room temperature instead of microwaving it. Because I don't want it to be hot, I want it to be room temperature. Or cold. Yes, don't mind me, just climbing up a... Climbing up a lava flow, it's fine. In line at the drive-thru for Duncan, and there was a wasp outside, and the poor guy just hears me go, WAIT! As I desperately roll up my window, Oh. Look at the cute little fireproof lizard. It's so heckin' cute. Look at it. Can I get closer without scaring it away? Lost photog. Almost won a thousand dollar 
On a two scratch off? Aw. Almost. Almost. And then I didn't go grab it. I should go try and, like, actually collect the lizard. We have a quest where we need ten of them, and then we also use the fireproof lizards to improve one of our armor sets. Ooh, there's another one over there. I didn't see that one. There's one over here, too. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, they're cute, aren't they? He's doing a big sneak, yeah. Stream Riders! <laughs> Four. Yes. So close, and yet so far. What do we got for food? I want to know. What you got for food? Alright. Where the heck am I going? I need the Elden Mountains. So we need to continue further that direction. This is probably as good a time as any to... Yes! We'd love to see that crit success! Nicely done. Let me see some torches in chat for that crit success. So sneaky. No, I don't want to play with you. Go away. I will yeet your head into the lava if I have to. What What is burning on me right now? Oh, it's the bow. Wildhearted has vanished! Yes, so stealth. Ultimate stealth. The most stealth. I have a feeling those keys are still following me. And I still have the combat music. But I don't know why. Had no idea Wildhearted was a rogue. I know, right? I know. It's because she's so sneaky. That's why. All right. Do we think? Uh, do we think maybe the fire dragon goes through this valley with a whole bunch of burned trees in it? Maybe. Seems like a possibility. Hard to say, though. You have been frequently told that you are sneaky, so it applies? Yes. I would say so. I would say it applies. My neck is so angry.
They snore so loud. They were all so loud. Rangers can also be very well versed in the sneakiness. This is true. I hear sparkles. They make more noise asleep than they do awake. Ranger is the best? Yes. He's a pretty good sheep. Oh, the Moblin Club has benefits to it. Get. What? I don't even know what this pun is for. What did I say that made you pun supplies? What happened? Yes, the ranger sheep is also adorable. And so is the magic sheep. We appreciate them both. All right, what the heck was I doing next? Aside from the stream raiders battle? I did want to go down here because like, I don't know what is over here in the Thiflo ruins, but it looks cool. I think I may have just, like, marked this as a random location. Not for any specific area. There it is! Ha ha ha! Yeah, I hear you. I'm not gonna fight you. The Art of Surprise? Oh, did I say something about the Art of Surprise? Is that what happened? Mama Guac, thank you very much for the take a bite. I appreciate you. Thank you. I am chasing after this heckin' dragon. You get out of here. I have to fight all these stupid little dudes. Cake! I want cake! Give me cake, too. I do not want to fight all of these stupid skellies. I just need to get over here. So that I can get this... scale. Run my frickin' Hylian butt off. Trying to get over here so that I can get to this scale. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want to fight you guys either! Okay, where is it going? Let's see if we can figure out where it's going. Maybe towards Mount Drenna? I don't have any teleportation points over here. 